In this video, I'll be showing you how you can make 2D slash letter logo of your brand using Canva just with your mobile phone. Therefore, let's go to the home page of the Canva. This is the home page of the Canva. Then scroll up to look for logo. This is logo. Then you click on see all to have access to everything. Here it is. The next thing you click on create blank. This is the page. This is it. Then all you need to do, you go to the bottom editor panel. Then you click on T, which is the text. Then you click on it. Then you click on add a heading. The first one, you click on it. Then the letter we are making use of is R H B. The next thing is to change the font. All you need to do, you click on the text, then click on the font at the bottom. Then I want to make use of this as shift of black. I click on it. Now, here it is. The next thing I will need to increase the font size of the letters. I click on font size. Then I increase it to probably... Let me increase it to 100 or let's say 120, 110. Let me leave it for 110. It's okay this way. Now, this is it for 110. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to, you know, click out. Then I click on element to look for line. I've already used a particular line that I want to make use of. But in the case whereby you are working on it for the first time, then you search for your line. You type in line, then you choose your line. But I want to make use of this very particular line. I click on it. I increase the size. I fix it in the middle. Okay, I'm okay with it. The next thing I'm going to go to the element. Then I click out. Then I click on element at the bottom. Then I search for shapes. Then you click on the square. Then this is it. The line I introduced previously, I want to use it to slash the letters into two. Now, all I need to do, I will need to increase these very particular shapes. Then I increase it. Then I will bring it here. I will bring it to the middle here. In the case whereby I want a perfect job, I can use my notch to do this. All you need to do, come to the bottom here, click on notch. Then the arrow down here, you click on it. Okay. I'm okay with it. Now, the next thing, I'm going to duplicate this, the shape. Then I bring it down here as well. Then I introduce my notch to move it up. Now I'm okay with it. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this very particular page. Then how do I go about it? I will need to duplicate it. Then I click on duplicate to make it uh, two pages. Then I click on the first one. I double click on it. The next thing I'm going to do is to click on the shape at the top side or at the upper side of the Design, I click on it. Then I will change it to white. I change it to white. Then the other one, I click on this. Then I will need to delete the second part. I will need to delete this. Then I'm okay with it. Then the second page, I will need to click on this. The first, the upper one, I will need to delete it. Then I will come to the bottom portion of the design. I click on it, then I will need to change it to white. I change it to white. This is it. These are my design. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to download the two designs. Then I click on the download icon to download it. Then I click on it. I click on download. I click on this very particular download. Then it's downloading. Now, this is it. Then I will need to create another page. I create this page. Then I double click on it. 
Then I will need to upload the design that I've uh, downloaded. Then I click on the upload here that we're having at the bottom editor panel. I click on it. Then I click on upload files. The next thing, I try to download it. Then I upload this. It's uploading. Now let me upload the second one. These are the designs, you know, uploaded. Then I click on this. The next thing, you click on the effects at the bottom here. You click on it to have the background of this very particular design removed. Then you click on background removed. Now it has been removed. The next thing, you try to crop this by bringing it here. Then the next thing, you try as much as possible to have it in the middle. You can see the red line. This is it, I have it here. Then the next thing, you drag this. Make sure you have it at the edge of the page here. This is it. Then the next thing, I will need to upload the other one by bringing it here. Then I click on this as well. Then the next thing I click on effects, I click on background removed. Then I will need to crop it as well. Then I place it in the middle, you can see, then drag it here to have it at the edge of this. Then you can now bring it together. You can see, this is it. This is our 2D slash letter logos. This is it. Then the next thing is to change our letters to image. By doing this, you click on the first one. Then you click on the effect at the bottom here. Then you click on effect. From there, you click on do tones. Now, all you need to do, let me choose uh, this very particular one. I chose this. The next thing, I want to work on this. I don't want it to be red. I want navy blue there. Then I click on this. Then where we have in the shadow, we have a red color there. Then I click on the red color. Then I will need to change this, this very particular color line here at the bottom. Then I have it for purple. Then I can now come to here by playing around it. Then I want it this way. This is it. Then, that is it. That is what I want there. Then the highlight. I want it that way. Then the next thing, I will click on the second one. Then I click on effect. Then I click on effect here. I click on do tone. From there, let me click on custom. Then I click on it as well. Then the shadow, I click on it. I want it to be orange. I want it to be orange. Okay. I will need to work on this. Okay. I'm okay with it. Then I'll bring it here. Okay with it. I so much love it this way. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, my heart stand for real. Then another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this very particular text we have in here. Then I click on the second, add a subheading. Then I click on it. Then I will type real. I want everything in capital letter. Real. Then I will bring it here. Then this real, I will need to change the font. I want to make use of this Benero semi condensed. Then I click on it. Then the font size, I will need to change this to adjust this by making it uh, 20. Let me leave it for 20. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make copy of this. I think to duplicate this, I duplicate the reel. Then I put at here. I change it to 
at okay then the next thing i'm going to copy or duplicate this as well then i change this to books now i'm done with the write-up there the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to fix this very particular reel here then i will come to the bottom here and look for spacing then the next thing i'm going to do to space this the letter spacing okay that is it then let me fix it and see okay i still need little adjustment on it okay now i'm okay with it i'm okay with this then this next thing i put at here then i also give it letter spacing okay i'm okay with it let me give it a little bit uh, letter spacing okay i'm okay with this the, let me give the books letter spacing as well then i'll come to spacing here then i give it then now okay i'm okay with this now the next thing i'm going to do i want this very particular right up in navy blue color the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to click on this reel then i will come here to look for the color then i click on color then the next thing i'm going to click on this very particular color box where we're having white circle in it with a plus sign i click on it then this very particular pencil icon it is called color picker i click on it then i will just fix it here i want the exact uh, navy blue color then i click on done you can see that it has changed to navy blue then i click on this art then i click on the pencil icon as well okay i want the navy blue as well then i click on done you can see that it has changed to it then the next thing i'm going to do it to this then i click on done now i'm okay with it this is very lovely. You can see my 2D slash letter logo. This is how to go about this using your Canva just with your mobile phone. If you have found this video very useful, consider subscribing to my channel. Give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your family and friends. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.